Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla FSD Beta 10.13 gets the two weeks treatment, Musk notes roundabout improvement. Tesla Model 3 glass roof shows its strength by tanking a falling tree in China. Tesla deploys its 35,000th supercharger. And Tesla app hints, Austin made Model Y has a 50 kilowatt hours battery pack, suggesting 4680 is more efficient than advertised. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla's next version of the full self-driving beta will be released in two weeks, a time frame that is all too familiar for owners of the company's all-electric vehicles. CEO Elon Musk stated, FSD beta version 10.13 will be released with notable improvements in terms of roundabout maneuverability. Musk stated on Twitter recently that FSD beta's newest version would be released in two weeks, but it remains to be seen if Tesla can remain on this schedule. While the automaker's executives have said in the past that new FSD beta software updates will be released consistently in this time frame, Tesla takes relatively no chances with its semi-autonomous suite. If the newest version is not ready for a release to over 100,000 beta members, it won't be deployed. Nevertheless, Musk believes Tesla's newest version will make it out to the beta fleet in two weeks. It follows the delayed release of FSD beta version 10.12, which was released in mid-May 2022. The improvements were deployed as software update 2022.12.3.10 and included several upgrades. Tesla said, improved creeping for visibility, reduced instances of uncomfortable turns, smooth maneuvering in restricted spaces, more safety in turns with crossing traffic, and other upgrades. With the version 10.13 update, Musk said, Tesla has been focusing on improving roundabout maneuvers, which have seemed to be a challenge with the FSD suite for several years. While recent versions of the FSD beta have shown roundabout maneuvers, which are being met with increased confidence, they have stumped previous installments of the full self-driving suite. However, improvements come with every mile driven, thanks to the company's neural network which obtains information about road conditions and driver behaviors to become safer and more accurate with its movements in the future. Tesla has implemented roundabout improvements in the FSD suite for several years. In June 2020, the company increased roundabout support, which supplemented the already improving performance of Tesla vehicles. Roundabouts are extremely challenging and are most commonly found in Europe, and the east coast of the US, according to the Department of Transportation. Tesla started adding drivers with a safety score of 93 and up to the FSD beta program to increase the number of cars in the pool. It increases the data Tesla is obtaining for its self-driving project, which Musk believes will be completed by the end of the year. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model 3 glass roof shows its strength by tanking a falling tree in China. Teslas may be among the most technologically advanced vehicles on the road, but they are also extremely tough. Despite their sleek looks, their trademark components, such as their glass roofs, have been proven to be extremely durable. The Tesla Model S, for example, made headlines when it was tested by the NHTSA. During the course of the tests, the Model S glass roof ended up breaking the safety agency's crush testing machine. Since the Model S days, Teslas have only gotten better and safer. This became evident in an incident in China that recently made its way through social media. The video was brief, but it showed a white Tesla Model 3 pinned down by a massive tree. The tree caught some power lines when it fell, but it was evident that a lot of its weight ended up on top of the Model 3. Despite being crushed by the tree, the Model 3 survived the incident. Its glass roof didn't even break, and reports from social media suggested that the driver was able to escape unharmed. This does seem to be the case, as the driver's side door of the vehicle was opened in the video. The Tesla Model 3 has earned a 5-star safety rating from the NHTSA, and it has proven its safety chops in several recent incidents. These included a Model 3 that ended up leaving the roadway at an estimated speed of 85 miles per hour 
and colliding with a tree about 20 feet in the air. The Model 3 was mangled in the incident, and the aftermath of the crash was horrific. Despite this, the driver was still able to escape with only minor injuries. Moving to the next update, Tesla deploys its 35,000th supercharger. Tesla announced that it has deployed its 35,000th supercharger stall recently at a new station in Wuhan, China. Tesla is currently growing its supercharger network at an impressive rate. The automaker went from 23,277 superchargers at 2,564 stations at the end of 2020 to 31,498 superchargers at 3,476 stations at the end of 2021. That's growing at a 35% year-over-year pace. However, it is lagging behind vehicle deliveries, which grew 87% during the same period of time, on top of now, gradually starting to allow non-Tesla EV owners to use the network. It also lags behind Tesla's own goal to triple the supercharger network in two years, but the automaker is nonetheless deploying new and larger stations at an impressive rate. Recently, Tesla announced its supercharger network hit a new milestone by deploying its 35,000th supercharger in the world. The automaker also noted that it deployed 5,000 superchargers over the last six months. As Tesla also noted, it operates the largest fast charging network in the world, and it remains an important advantage for the automaker, but it is in a transition phase. The company is starting to open up the network to non-Tesla electric vehicles, increasing the charging options for all electric vehicles. As it does that, Tesla has to accelerate deployment in order to support both its own growing fleet of customer vehicles and other EVs looking to use the supercharger network. We expect that Tesla is going to continue accelerating its supercharger station deployment in the coming months, especially with its new prefab method that can deploy a new station in days. It greatly simplifies the installation process, which is just one part of the complex process involved in deploying new charging stations. It includes finding an appropriate location, making a deal with the property owner, getting approval from the local electric utility, building the station, and lining up an installer. Moving to the last update, Tesla app hints, Austin made Model Y has a 50 kilowatt hours battery pack, suggesting, 4680 is more efficient than advertised. When the 4680 battery cell was first unveiled, Tesla said it would provide 16% more range than the 2170 cell. When the 279-mile range from a rumored but unconfirmed 65 kWh battery pack for the Austin-made Model Y was revealed, many thought the new battery chemistry wasn't living up to expectations. Based on what the Tesla mobile app is displaying for the new variant, we may have underestimated Tesla, and the battery could be even more efficient than originally advertised. One of the first Giga Texas Model Y owners, spoken reviews, shared on YouTube that his mobile app is displaying 50D instead of standard range or all-wheel drive. Going with Tesla's previous naming conventions, this would suggest the battery pack could be just 50 kilowatt hours. This means, if Tesla were to use the same battery pack size as the long-range variant, the 75 kWh, it would get about 418 miles, instead of the 330 miles the 2170 cells currently provide, or about 25% more range. It is possible that Tesla has actually equipped the 4680 Model Y with a 75 kWh pack, but if software locked it to reduce the range to prevent the Osborne effect, or people not buying the current long-range variant in the hopes of getting the latest and greatest in the Model Y all-wheel drive. Tesla has done this before, allowing customers to unlock additional battery capacity in the Model S in 2016, so it would not be surprising to see them do this again. So what do you think about this? Has Tesla software locked the battery? Or is 279 miles as much range as the Model Y all-wheel drive? from Giga Texas is going to get. Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.